Hello, this is Bo. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Today, I would like to introduce to you my newly acquired Hoya, Hoya Australis UT209. Australis UT209. Um, by the way, this is not actually an unboxing since I get all my Hoyas locally. So for me, it's a question of go out and shop. Um, and uh, there, there's no box to be unboxed. So let's call this one an unveiling instead of uh, new Hoyas. Um, here's the palm of my hand. I'm trying to uh, show you how big the bloom is and also the size of the leaves. Um, they they all fit right. Um, they they all fill up the palm of my hand. Um, it's a healthy plant, and the leaves, as you can see, are nothing special. But the 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 the, the bloom is what what drew my attention. I normally don't buy hoyas for for their blooms. But this one is uh, one of those uh, times when I make an exception. Um, there is also a, a smaller bloom toward the top, but it looks like it's not going to make it. Um, it has uh, begun to uh, yellow out. And also there are additional two peduncles, smaller ones. Uh, one on top and one at the bottom, but I'm really counting on this main plume here to re-bloom soon after the first one. Um, it has a very strong fragrance, uh, a mixture of citrus and uh, vanilla. Um, quite, a, quite an interesting uh, combination. Um, but nevertheless, very pleasant and enjoyable. Um, it comes out very uh, powerful uh, in the evening. Um, I I keep it in on my balcony like all the rest. But uh, in the evening, I would be sitting on the computer, and the fragrance would come in and kind of perk me up, so to speak. Um, so this is uh, Australis UT209. Um, I'm going to let you um, spend a little more time enjoying the plant and I will see you soon in the next video. In the meantime, take care and be safe. Bye.